Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, February 8th, 2016, and today is travel day. To kick off this special day, the first thing I need to do is have a phone call with my virtual assistant. It is now 9.13 in the morning, and I just got off the phone with Andrea. Andrea has been my assistant for the last four years. One of the many things that Andrea does for me is she takes care of every aspect of all of my equipment orders from my website. By the way, did you know that I have equipment on my website that you can purchase? Podcastanswerman.com slash equipment. Link below. Well, you have to type it in. It's just text. For those of you who are brand new to podcasting, I just want to let you know you do not need, it's not required to have the equipment package that I sell. I started podcasting just over 10 years ago with nothing more than a $35 USB headset. I'd recommend something maybe a little bit more than that these days, but you certainly don't have to have the package that I have. But let me explain why I sell that package. A number of my one-on-one consulting clients from years back when I did one-on-one and my podcasting A to Z students, they simply said, Cliff, I want exactly what you have. I have a budget. Don't worry about that. Just tell me, how do I get what you have? And well, that's how the Podcast Answer Man equipment package came into being. The package includes this high LPR 40 microphone, the boom mic arm, shock mount, and pop filter. It includes the Mackie 1402 VLZ4 audio mixer with all cables needed for the setup. And it also includes a Roland R-05 digital audio recorder. I promise you, it was not my intention to do a full-blown commercial for my equipment package here in my Snapchat story today. But anyway, when an order comes in, I'm notified of the order in my email inbox. And when I am notified of that, I make sure that that information is forwarded on to my assistant, Andrea. Andrea then processes the equipment order and she uses my Google account to sign into some of the Google spreadsheets that I've created for her. I'm all aware that I could share those spreadsheets with her, but there are reasons why I actually have her log directly into my Google account. It's important for me to tell you that I trust her implicitly. She's a great person. Anyway, I'm very security conscious, even though I do give my Google credentials out to my assistant. One of the things that I do to protect my online accounts is I set up two-factor authentication on any service that allows it. What this means is that anytime Andrea needs to log into my Google account, she has to call me by phone and get a six-digit two-factor code. The problem is, is that there is a significant time difference between Missouri, where Andrea is, and New Zealand. So what I did was I switched from using the Google Authenticator app over to a service called Authy. Authy is a multi-platform application that allows you to sync your authentication codes between multiple devices. This morning's call with Andrea was to help her install Authy into her computer system and give her access to my codes. Now that that's out of the way, I'm going to work on email inbox zero, check my to-do list, and get some other things done this morning here before I have to leave. All right, email inbox zero is complete. I have done all the tasks that need to be done so far today. It is now time to head down to the workout room. Because of the crossing the date line, the international date line, it will cause me to completely skip Tuesday. I'm heading to the airport today on Monday. I, my flight leaves this afternoon in Cincinnati. I arrive in Los Angeles at 9 p.m. You see, I leave Los Angeles Monday evening, but I don't arrive in New Zealand until 7 a.m. Wednesday morning there. Tuesday is typically a strength training day for chest and triceps. And that's why I'm going to be using these dumbbells and that bench to get to work. But first, a little cardio warm up.
chest and strength training session completed with some cardio thrown in. I'm out of breath. So I just had my first pumpkin spice protein shake. Not bad, but I don't think I'd buy it again. It is 11.47 in the morning. Stephanie is piloting the pilot. I am a dork. We are off to the airport. Breezed right past airport security. Now it's time to do currency exchange. I'm on a cash budget at home and abroad. $690 New Zealand cash. Fiji water secured. And I avoid these little walking things if I'm not in a rush to get somewhere. I also try to avoid places like this. Mobile device or see the airport display screens for an up to date flight status and gate information. Great news. I just got an email confirmation that my request for a seat upgrade for the flight to New Zealand from LAX approved. To have one of those big, comfy seats that's almost all, all by itself, lots of leg room, instead of sharing three seats next to somebody, definitely worth $700 for a 13 and a half hour flight. Now I just have to pray that I don't pass a Cinnabon in this airport. I will. Thank you. Thank you for taking my money. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I have arrived here at LAX and I'm waiting for a shuttle bus, but I'm not sure if I'm in the right spot. I made it to my terminal, thankfully. Now I have to find my gate, check the boarding time, and see if I have enough time to eat dinner. They're getting ready to board my flight now, so this is my last snap of the day. I'll see you guys when I get to New Zealand.